Hey everyone, in this week's book review, we are going to check out Kim Jong-gi's 2018 sketch collection. Kim Jong-gi is an established artist from South Korea. He's quite well known actually. He's known for his really intricate sketches. Sketches that can span a large canvas. Sketches that he draw from imagination. He is quite an incredible artist. You need to check out his, some of his videos online. By the way, this book is not suitable for work because there's going to be some nudity inside. So I just want to warn you before I show you the pages. He has published several sketch collections before 2017, 2011, 2013, 2016, and now 2018. His books are quite expensive. The official retail price for this book is US $105. Now this book has slightly over 300 pages and it collects the amazing sketches from the artist himself. Check out his perspective. He really has a lot of knowledge when it comes to drawing perspective. Later on, you, you can see some of his amazing drawings. And many of these are actually drawn from imagination. Check out this drawing. Check out the perspective of this drawing. So many of these are actually pen and ink work. His influence, well, you can tell that it's pretty much manga or comic influence. His drawing style is very manga-like. And he likes to use brush pens a lot like this to create textures. He's uh, of course very capable with using pen and ink. Many of the videos that I see online on YouTube, he draws with a brush pen. I'm not sure how he does drawings like this. Take a look at the details in this, in this sketch. He goes around uh, to different countries to give talks as well and to uh, do demonstrations. So most of the sketches in this book, they are actually just in black and white or some colored inks, but um, mostly in black and white. Some are quite sketchy. Some are really detailed. Some have tones added with the brush pen, some have tones added with just a cross hatching. This book is a hardcover book. The pages almost A4 in size, so this is quite a large art book. I think this is probably drawn with ballpoint pen. It looks like ballpoint pen. So the subject matter, well, he draws I mean, I think he draws a huge variety of subject matters, but mostly characters, like human characters and animal characters. So we see some animals or animals mixed with humans. He likes to draw those uh, Chinese or Asian teams as well. But he basically just draws anything like a concept artist would. So we have some nudity as mentioned earlier. His knowledge, his drawing is just incredible. This guy, he draws a lot. Like, it's really inspiring to just watch him draw. And it's really inspiring to hear or read about his work rate because I mean, this guy is so hardworking. He's drawing all the time. He draws so often that he can remember, I mean, he doesn't need to draw from reference anymore because all his knowledge is from his uh, mind. He can remember all those things. And his anatomy knowledge, really incredible. I think Kim Jong-gi is probably the modern version of a renaissance artist you know those old masters he is the modern version of those artists those painters except he draws comics or manga check out the perspective of this
So he does a lot of traveling, going to other countries to give talks and demonstrations. I think this is a scene from one of his demonstrations. Now this book, this sketch collection is much thinner compared to his earlier sketch collections. The 2007 sketch collection, it's almost 1,000 pages and the more recent sketch collections, they become, they are thinner and thinner and now we have a sketchbook that is slightly over 300 pages but selling at the same price, US $105. I mean, the price would vary depending on where you buy it from, but um, it's pretty much settled at that price range. It's quite expensive. So it's more worthwhile to actually buy the older sketch collections because they are significantly thicker. And not just that, the paper quality in the old sketch collections, I feel that they are much better. The paper here in this 2018 collection, it's slightly thinner, but um, the print quality, the color reproduction is still quite good. So there is some nudity, but it's not as bad compared to some of his uh, one of his earlier sketch collection which has some sexual acts. I mean nudity itself is fine but in one of his earlier sketch collection there are some sexual acts and some people they were quite put off because of the uh, those drawings and with the later sketch collections I think he toned down quite a bit which is great. So he also draw comics by the way but I'm not sure what titles he draws. Check out the details, the line art, and just the amount of work, the number of sketches that are included in this book. All right, let me just quickly flip to the back to show you this uh, multi-pitch gateful. This last page is so long that I have to zoom out. So this is one of his many panorama sketches. And he gets the perspective just right. Just look at the details. I wonder how big is the original drawing. It's probably gigantic. The binding of this book, you have to be very careful because it doesn't look like it's very strong. The end paper here, it looks a bit thin to be holding so many pages. So be very careful when you are handling the book. This is an incredible art book. One of the best art books in 2018 for sure. If you're interested to get yourself a copy, you can visit the link in the video description below. And if you want to check out the reviews for his other sketch collections, the link will be in the video description as well. That's all for today's review. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If not, thank you for watching. See you in the next book review video. Bye!